Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. So I want to go over um, just what the Eagles could do with this roster in general going into this offseason, what they can actually do. Um, you know, obviously they have to free up some cap space. They have to restructure some players. And I think they have to take a major swing at a different type of approach going into this offseason since the Eagles have no coordinators yet and yet to know who the Eagles are really going to resign with the money they have, which it really isn't that much between seven, eight million dollars. We're going to go through the possibilities of what I think the Eagles should do this offseason. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. talk about the Eagles cap space going forward I mean as of right now the Eagles are like seven to eight million under the cap right now so um you know not much money I mean the good thing is they're under the cap they're not over the cap they're not like going into the 21 season they were like 75 over the cap which was a lot you know what I mean from obviously the bad moves from the Super Bowl to to 21 was pretty bad you know the draft picks weren't uh you know, when you miss on your draft picks and you're restructuring nonstop, non nonstop, and with those, you know, giving players bigger uh, bonuses or giving them more upfront money, and then those bigger cap hits come down the road, it starts to build up when you're drafted, when you're not drafting well. And obviously, the past two seasons, Howie Roseman has really turned it around with the drafting part of things and the trades, which has really turned this roster around. Now, I don't think this is going to be the same offseason we've had the past couple seasons because I think you're light on cap right now. I think you got to free up some money, which they definitely do. Jalen Hurts has got to get paid, and there's a lot more moves the Eagles have to do right now when it comes to franchise tagging, Chauncey Gardner, if they can't get a long-term deal done. There's a lot of stuff going on. Now, the good thing about this whole thing is that your offense is pretty much set, guys. you still got Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. you got Quez Watkins still in the building. Your offensive line is packed right now. Um, Samal's going in the free agency, is going to walk. Cam Jurgens will play next to Kelsey this year, and obviously Kelsey cannot retire, and I don't think he's going to. Um, you really just have a hole at the running back position right now. And I don't know if going into this draft is the smartest thing to do and to draft a running back at 10. I don't really believe that they're going to do it. I don't believe that it's the smart move. You got way too many holes on your defense this year. You, you got to go uh, at least three picks. Have, at the first three picks, I've got to go on defense. You don't have any, you don't have any more picks after the fourth round. You got no picks. You know, you got to, you know, they have a couple seventh rounders that they have to wait until obviously um, the compensatory picks where it's going to show up on the, on the spreadsheet. So there's no picks. We don't have those day three picks like we usually do. And I, I'm not complaining. I like the two first rounders that we do have, but to get a running back at 10, it's just too much for me right now. And I understand that you'll have it. You'll have a running back in the building for four to five years, but at the same time, they really have to go defense because I think you're losing you're losing Kaiser White, you're losing TJ Edwards, you're losing Marcus Epps, you're you're losing James Bradbury, Hargrave. I don't know how they're gonna even afford Hargrave at this point. Uh Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham. I mean it's it's the Linval Joseph, Adamic and Sue. It's a lot of players. <laughs> it's it's a lot of players. You know what I mean? Jordan Davis comes to the mix at defensive tackle. So you're 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 really stretching yourself far right now if if these you know, if Jalen Carter or Will Anderson is available or, you know, at six or seven and you gotta move up and know that you have to take them, I think you gotta go take one of those guys in the first round. I don't think you can afford to take a running back in the first round at all. So to free up the cap space pretty much, I think with Lane Johnson and Big Play Slay, you can free up thirty two million dollars. You'll have thirty two million dollars freed up with both of these players on restructures because you can't get rid of slay uh there's been you know talks about can the eagles actually trade slay and get some compensation for it and no because the dead money is like 21 million dollars lane johnson will play for another year no doubt and he will have to restructure as well and that will free up like i said altogether they should free up 32 million dollars with these two restructures with the uh so they'll have more room to do things. And $32 million isn't a lot of money, but it definitely leaves you room for a nice, particularly good move and some depth signings behind it, which they need more bodies defensively. Um, so, I mean, that makes sense. So then you're seeing all this news, and this is where I think the Eagles are going to go, and I think they have to change their ways this offseason, especially at running back. We've, we've heard the rumors about a Dalvin Cook trade going on that the Vikings are definitely moving on. DeAndre Swift parting ways with the Lions. Obviously, if DeAndre Swift can stay healthy, 
oh my God, I mean, he's a Pro Bowl player. There's no doubt about it. You know what I mean? And I understand, you know, Kareem Hunt could be available because the Eagles had interest in him. And, you know, a lot of talks were going on between the Eagles and the Browns during the offseason this year. Um, and nothing really happened. You know what I mean? Nothing really happened too much. So um, I think the Eagles have to go a different direction. I think, you know, I know they're not going to resign Miles Sanders. I think they're going to have to get a much little bit of a Olderish vet, and I'm not saying anyone that's 30 or older, but an olderish type vet uh, that's particu uh, particularly young, um, and getting a guy like DeAndre Swift in a trade. I don't think he's a free agent. I think he's got one more year, one more, one more year left on his deal. I can't talk today. Um, you know, and those are the type of trades Howie Roseman likes. He likes trading for guys that have one more year left on their deals. So if Swift has one more year, it'd be like the Eagles take on that money, maybe spread it out. They could do whatever they want with it and let him prove himself this year as a Philadelphia Eagle and then gets his money after this year. I don't think it's smart going into this draft and drafting a B. John Robinson or some of these other guys that are available, even though it's a really good running back class. Now, if somebody drops down, maybe our second first round pick, I might say sure, but it's just too much for me because we need defensive players badly. I mean, it's we need defensive players badly. And I don't think they're going to fill every spot. I don't. I don't think they're going to be able to resign everybody. I don't think they're going to fill every, every spot. That's just the truth to it all. So I think they really have to take advantage of this offense, which is already stacked right now. Jalen Hurts is coming back on a new contract. You still got A.G. Brown, Devontae Smith. You got Quez Watkins, whatever they want to do with competition with that spot at third wide re receiver. Kelsey looks like he's staying here. Cam Jurgens will play the right guard with Samal going into free agency. Your offensive line is still intact at a really, really good rate right now. Andre Dillard's going to walk, you know what I mean, as a backup left tackle, left guard, whatever the case may be with that. So you really, they they have to get a stud at running back. And I think, and I understand you want to go into the draft and get one, but I think when it comes down to it because of how many, if we didn't have that many free agents on defense, my whole entire thing would change of, of what they should do at the running back position, but because of how many free agents that are coming out of this defense, it's tough for me to say that they're going to go after any of these running backs. And I understand that these running backs, they spread pretty deep into the third, fourth round of this draft and can start for teams. I mean, the running back class is pretty deep this year, but do they want to take a chance on that or actually go after one of these guys? You got two second round picks for the 24 draft. So you have more draft compensation if they want to use it, and I'm willing to use one of those picks uh, next year. Not even this year's draft in 23 and 24's draft, I'm willing to use one, some of the maybe one of those picks uh, to kind of help us a little bit. But I think the Eagles need to sign a free agent or trade for a running back, and I think Swift would be perfect because he's got one more year left on his deal, and he's been hurt. He was hurt last year. He missed some time. And I think it'd be the perfect spot for him. I think Kareem Hunt would be a perfect running back for this backfield because I don't know if the Eagles are going to bring bring um, Boston Scott back again. And Kenny G is just not I, Kenny G is just not it. As much as I think he's a fantastic runner, uh, can catch out of the backfield and do all that great stuff and use that as a dual threat back. At the end of the day, we underutilized Miles Sanders. We did. We underutilized him. We didn't use him the right way. We didn't. The way Doug used him in 19, that's how I like to use him as a dual threat back. They never used him after Nick came in, and it really was a shame. And then there was five, six games this past year. They barely even gave him, um, you know, they gave him, you know, carries in the first half, which really annoyed me. So you got to go score points with this offense. And to do that, you have to get a bona fide running back in the building. You're not wasting a 10th overall pick on a running back. And, and I'm not saying it's a waste, but clearly they need to do more defensively than they can do offensively. You got to go get Will Anderson or Jalen Carter with that, moving up from the 10th spot or whatnot. Whatever, whoever drops, they, they really need to get and, and get it done as fast as possible. They should have three impact players by the end of this draft on defense. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know what Howie Roseman has up his sleeve. But looking at what's available out there running back-wise, which they really need, 
They have to get an older-ish type guy that's been in the league for a while that needs to prove himself or someone that's a good player that, you know, a guy coming off injuries like DeAndre Swift or Dalvin Cook that's had past injuries in the past but still a good running back and needs to move on to another team. I think Dalvin Cook would fit perfectly here, um, you know, and uh, with this offensive line. Imagine having a bigger pedigree of a running back higher than Miles Sanders. Now I don't blame Miles Sanders for anything because I don't think they use the, the Eagles. Like I said, the Eagles haven't really used Miles Sanders to his full potential, which really sucks. Um, you know what I mean? So other than in 21 where he got hurt a couple times, you know, that was on him, but you know, this past year, his statistics would have been so much better. Probably would have been higher than Josh Jacobs maybe at this point, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, you know, so I got to say goodbye to Miles Sanders. They have to, get a bona fide high pedigree type running back for this offense. And really they're set because they got to do more defensively for this draft. I'm sorry, but I know the flashy names make everybody happy. And we talk, we saw Daniel Jeremiah talking about the Eagles and, and having this interest in Bijan Robinson that they could use him and, and what he would look like. Yeah, he would, it would be fantastic. But do I think it's realistic? No, because of how many free agents you have on defense. If your offense is already pretty much ready and it hasn't really made that many changes, your offense is going to be perfectly fine. This offense is still going to be good next year tremendously. So take advantage of it. Don't just don't just get Boston Scott back, even though you can bring Boston Scott back for special teams if you want. You know, if it's Kenny G and Boston Scott and they just signed some other guy, you know, that's not going to do much. Or maybe he's I, I want a bona fide guy in that backfield that's really going to make this offense more explosive, sprout this defense a little bit with the receivers that you do have. And with that read option RPO system, it's it's going to be monstrous if you put a guy like Dalvin Cook back there. Like, imagine, like, I've always imagined a Derrick Henry back there, which would never happen. But I'm always imagining a, Dev a De 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 you know, uh, Henry back there. Uh, Dalvin Cook, even DeAndre Swift has been one of my favorite running backs for a long time. And, and obviously had his number on the Eagles plenty of games. Um, and a healthy one at that. So I think the Eagles need to go in this direction. Um, and they got to stay away from the running backs in the draft. I, I don't think it's the time. I don't think it's I think it's a complete waste of a pick because of how many how many holes you have on this defense right now and you don't even have your DC yet um, and you got to restructure a couple contracts a few contracts so I don't know what they're going to do here but you got to get one of these guys whether it's Kareem Hunt DeAndre Swift Dalvin Cook you got to get one of these guys and I think that's what's going to make the big difference here so other than that let me know what you guys think about trading for Dalvin Cook DeAndre Swift do you think this is a good um, you know, avenue to kind of go on with this offense and, and going to the dra going to this draft differently and changing the way we do things a little differently this year because of how many free agents we have on defense um, going into this, you know, in going into this offseason. Um, and do you think it'd just be a waste of a pick to draft a running back 10th overall? Like I said, like because of the cap situation and everything else, like if we had 50 something million dollars in cap space, then I really wouldn't care, and I would draft a guy. I would draft a running back in the first round. But because like the cap space is slim, and there's only so many moves the Eagles can make for this, you know, for this defense, I don't think you can waste it on an offensive player. I just, I just don't think you can waste it on him. So um, that's all I gotta say. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes it up, follow us, peace out, guys. Peace.